The second way that you can pressurize your launcher is with a bicycle pump. You use the same amount of pressure. It's still approximately 35 PSI. And what you do is you unscrew the connection for the air compressor and you take the connection for the bicycle pump and you screw it on. Now if this connection ever leaks, you can pick up some Teflon tape at your local hardware store. It's very inexpensive and you simply put, put it around the threads that will keep it from leaking because it will eventually wear out, especially if you're switching back and forth. Once you have the bicycle pump connection on there, then you'll go ahead and remove the cap if it's not already removed. And you will take your bicycle pump and connect it to the stem. Then you're ready to go ahead and pressurize the rocket. With just a few pumps, you're ready to launch a rocket. And then you simply push the button, and there you go. Now, when you're purchasing a bicycle pump, I would recommend getting a quality pump that has a pressure gauge. The inexpensive pumps tend to wear out fast, so if this is going to be the primary way that you launch your rockets, I would recommend investing in a nice bicycle pump, and you can get that at your local bike shop.